It's always inspiring to hear how incredibly God is working, not just here in Lima, but all over the world. Jennifer introduces us to two men, one from right here in Ohio and the other halfway around the world, both with a unified goal to spread the life-changing message of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Andy. Well, joining me now is Harold Wollenhaupt, who lives right here in Elida, and his very good friend, Pastor Bernard Ondiak, who traveled all the way from Kenya to be with us here on Faith and Friends. Gentlemen, I am so honored to have both of you here with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what an incredible story. I have enjoyed talking with these gentlemen so much before we started this interview, just hearing about God's vision through Pastor Bernard, what he has been doing in Kenya since 2004 with hundreds of orphans literally changing their lives. Why don't you give us a very quick recap, Pastor, of uh, your ministry and where it is now with the schools that you have? Well, thank you very much. My ministry is um, to make sure that I build a foundation for the little children that their foundation has been broken due to the death of their parents. Actually, this is something very difficult and very hard to know that there are so many of fans in the world today and they don't have shelter, food, they don't have uh, anybody who would just raise their hands and call them to say, I love you. And um, the most important thing I do is just to um, make sure that I pick up these kids and bring them and uh, mold them, first of all, to give them a strong spiritual foundation and academic foundation and emotional foundation. Benas Vision School is uh, doing this, picking children from the street and also from their uh, homes where they cannot get help. And here is what we're doing. We are giving them food, we are giving them education, we are giving them shelter, and, and we give them hope. So what we are seeing right now are young children uh, who without this opportunity, would they just be on the streets? What would be their future? I, I tell you, uh, some of them uh, would just end up dying. And uh, some of them, uh, when they sniff the glues, they become mad mm. because their minds completely spoiled. That's why I'm, I'm talking of the broken foundation. Mm. They have no hope at all if they cannot get to go to school. This is what is very, very hard for, for me to see. In fact, uh, living in a, a community where people suffer, and you may think uh, uh, you, you do well, it's not easy. I've seen the cry of the children, and this is broke, breaking my heart. And that's why the birth of Benas Vision School started in 2005. Harold, here we are in the United States, but yeah. we have an opportunity to be, to, to, to be a partner with Pastor Bernard. What would you recommend that we could do as people over here in the United States to help with this situation? Yes, well, I think financial support is the most important thing. And as we learn more about the life in Kenya, it seems like it's uh, almost a hopeful, hopeless situation. Uh, with no uh, constant government uh, oversight or, or any government contributions and any contributions made to Bernard's program goes directly to him. There's no overlying organization that takes anything off the top and everything that's donated gets used in his schools in Kenya. So 100% of right. donations are going directly to this ministry. There's no, nothing taking them off the top, which is always yes. a good thing for us to know. It's good yeah, to know where right. the money's going. Right. Financial is one way that we here mm -hmm. in the United States can help. Yes. What are some other ways that we can help? Um, I, I want to tell you that there's several ways. One of the ways is prayer. You know, prayer is very, very important. When Christians pray, things work. Yes. And when God's work is done in godly way, God provides. Mm -hmm. But prayer is the most important thing. But another thing that I want to tell you is, when you just make your time and break you, uh, yourself out of the comfort zone and say, I want to go see what these people are doing, 
I tell you, when you come and see exactly how the children who have hope are getting, who have no hope are getting hope, you just stretch up your hands and, and, and touch them with the love of Christ and you see the smile of their face. That, I tell you, will change your life completely. Mm -hmm. And that's why I tell people, support with money, support with prayer, but come see. Come and see what is happening there. It's very important. So when people come and visit, they have an opportunity to teach. Would they also have an opportunity to help with maybe building projects, right. those types of things? Right. When people come, they, they can get involved in classroom work. Or maybe if we have a project of building, they can also help us with the skills that they have. And we can go also visit them at their homes and, and, um, uh, and, and see the guardians' homes and also give them uh, encouragement in their homes. We, we can also teach them the Bible, the Word of God that would transform their lives completely because our foundation is in Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. amen. Yeah. That's right. I am excited when I, when I hear these stories and recognizing I mean, right now, there are hundreds of, hundreds of kids going through these two schools that right. you have. And I think back to 2004 to now and the thousands of kids whose lives not only have been changed educationally, but spiritually. Yes. I mean, imagine the party that's going to be in mm -hmm. heaven someday with all of these kids, thanks to your willingness to yes. push forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing, Pastor, it hasn't always been easy. Is mm -hmm. that correct? It's not been easy. Um, let, let, let me tell you, man, um, uh, this is a faith ministry because I don't have big organizations where I say, I'm going to take this money and do this work. Every time is a step of faith. Um, I have seen lots of um, good things happening and bad things happening. We, we sometimes run out of, out of food. Mm. And sometimes you think, what am I going to do with this case right now? They don't have food, they don't have books, they don't have teachers, and they don't have um, water. So what should I do? Then God tells you, don't be discouraged. I'm with you, I will do it. And then later you see, God provides. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we, we didn't have classrooms. And we say, what, am I, what are we going to do? Because the, the need is so huge that in 2004, we started with about six children. And right now, we have 820 children. 820. Going, 20, going through the schools through Bernard's Vision School. Wow. Learning. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, what, what I want to tell you, the great encouragement. These boys and girls are very bright, excellent. We did our national exam last year and the other year, 100% pass. And yeah. these kids have to go to high school, to public high schools. So I don't want to cut you off, but yes. we're almost out of time. And I want right. to talk about high school very quickly. Yes. Because it is time to move them into high school. Right. So it's time to build a high school, right? It's right. time to build a high school right now. And um, because after they, they get to eighth grade, they, they cannot get to go to public high school in Kenya because they pay dearly. It is very, very expensive. Therefore, now what we are praying for is to build a high school within Bernard's Visions campus so that the transition from eighth grade to, to ninth grade would be very easy. Mm. I know that building a high school is very expensive. In fact, we budgeted for $250,000, which we do not know where this money will come from. Mm -hmm. But God tells me, Bernard, money is there. It's in the pocket of people. <laughs> and uh, I know, uh, let's pray. It's, I'm going to talk to people. Don't tell them to give. Let me tell them to there give. There you go. <laughs> yes. That's good. So right, right. that's what you've heard. At the high school is what is next on the agenda for this incredible ministry, Bernard's Vision School. If you'd like to know more about this, you've got three websites on your screen there that you can go to, piei.org.
hungryforhim.com and godslittleones.org. You can also call us here at TV44. And I encourage you to get a copy of this book, Bernard's Vision. I haven't finished reading it yet, which means you cannot borrow mine. It's a great book. I've started reading it. It's very amazing to hear how God has been working, how Pastor Bernard was uh, willing to listen to God's heart, which is, of course, always the first key. Uh, I just want to thank both of you gentlemen so much. We could talk for a very long time, I am sure. Hopefully this is not our last opportunity to do that. Um, just my prayers are with you. I, I'm just encouraged yes. and, and so grateful for your support, but for your willingness to move forward. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. May God bless you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Back to you, Mark.